Hi everyone, this is Bill Leith. Today I'd like to talk about our Weichiru Karate Kata and one tip that I have that I think will greatly improve how you perform your Kata and some of the practical applications of movement. The training technique we're talking about today I like to refer to as active retraction. And this applies to every single Weichi Kata from Sanshin to Sanseiru. When practicing any sort of thrusting motion in the Kata, whether it be a Sanshin thrust, a Shokin, a punch, any technique where extending the arm out, I often see people leave their arm out and then slowly bring the elbow back to San Chin. Instead, I highly recommend after you throw your thrust, whether you're holding out for a moment before retracting back or striking and bringing right back to San Chin, is to make sure you're engaging your lats as you pull back. And instead of doing a slow motion bringing your arm back to San Chin, snap it back down. This does multiple things. Number one, the weakest point defensively of any strike is when I'm at full extension. At this point here, I'm exposed and vulnerable parts of my body, such as the side of the ribs here, can get hit much easier. Versus bring my hand back to San Chin where I can protect those areas of the body. So when I thrust, I wanna make sure I bring that elbow back down aggressively, not casually. So if I'm throwing a strike, realistically I wanna bring it down fast to protect myself. This also will guarantee that I'm staying active in my San Chin throughout all parts of the kata. By that I mean utilizing the core muscles of your body. That means engaging the lats, shoulders, chest muscles, abdomen throughout the movement. So if I throw my, if I throw my technique out and I'm just casually bringing my elbow back, I'm not really engaging the lats as much as if I drop that elbow hard down in the San Chin. I should feel as I drop my elbow down, those lats re-engaging with the thrust. They'll still be partially engaged as I strike out, but definitely won't be as solid as, I bring, as if I bring my elbow back. It's also important to remember that the completion of any technique isn't at the extension of the technique. It's when you retract back to San Chin. So if I'm, throwing, if I'm throwing my strike and I leave it out here, I haven't finished the strike. The strike isn't complete until I bring it back down. So every technique we make, we're snapping back to San Chin, and that is the completion of the technique we're throwing. So again, it's really important when we're throwing our strikes that we drop that elbow back down in the San Chin to protect ourselves. If I'm working with a partner and my arm is extended and he goes to throw that technique towards my rib, I can drop that down and use that not just as a defensive move, but as an offensive weapon to lay damage to the hand. So again, if I throw a strike and he, he blocks, he counters, whatever he's doing, I can drop that elbow down to protect myself. We can use the same thing if the person's throwing a kick at us. Maybe I'm moving on punching and he throws that kick, I can drop that elbow down and I don't know about you, but taking an elbow to the foot, it's not fun. So remember, when practicing your kata for Weichiru, make sure you're snapping that elbow back down the sanchin. Make sure you're engaging your lats, shoulders, your core, and make sure you're thinking of protecting yourself as you drop that back and avoid just casually dropping the elbow down. Everything we do with our Weichiru kata should be an active movement. And I think the retraction and any sort of thrust is one of those movements that we should pay really close attention to. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. See ya.